Hello, Gary here, and welcome to episode number 34 of my Let's Play of East Origin on the PC, playing through as Unica. And at the end of the last episode, after having a little bit of a look at trying to find the medallion, um, basically I got a bit ahead of myself, because Hugo gave us an artifact, and... Well, there's one person who might be interested in seeing that. I kind of stopped reading at that point. So hopefully we can work this out or play it through as I'd like to. But we need to head back downstairs. Because this... Yeah. Basically we need to go and see Lady Fina. Um, because stuff's getting real, basically. Um, the rest of the knights are kind of screwed. Hugo's acting weird. He gave me a fake black pearl of some sort. And I have no idea what's going on. So I'm going to ask the only person who might have half a clue in the reason that we're here. Who is? Come on. There we go. Right. I didn't mean it was going to be a full-on cutscene. But yeah. Hello. Ah, not to me. No, I'm good. Oh, right. Yeah, everyone else. Um, about an hour ago, you know, then, when you mentioned it, yeah, yep, yep, <laughs> I've, got say, I've got nothing more to say to that, but yeah, it sucks pretty much badly, um, yeah, he was just pretty much way too tough for us, um, yeah, any, any hints? Tips, tricks. Yeah, it's about five minutes ago when she mentioned it. Um, well, yeah, I was going to say, it's, let's not just write them off, but probably. Ah, no. The woman with the plan over here. Come on. Rapist passed it down to the caretakers of Solomon's shrine. Right, is he downstairs? I'm not getting mixed. He was, I've st oh. Okay. Oh. Damn it. Pure magic. Ah, but we do. We've got a fake black pearl. Yeah. Might just be enough. Let's hope. Um. Yeah. Bit of a loose cannon, that one. But. Ho hum. So. Where's the idol? Is he downstairs? We don't. Yes, we do. I was going to say, I thought we don't need to work it out. She's just going to go. I've got a. Ah. Oh. I'm going to go outside. Stupid. Can I do it from here? No. Ugh. Stupid magical paling. I thought we'd lifted that. Kind of, well, I, did, I, I didn't, but... Step outside. There we go, right. So I think he was downstairs. If he's not, then I'm misremembering. Which is feasible. But I believe everyone who we've met who's not about is down here somewhere. Like Dino here. So, yeah. What's wrong? Yeah. Nope, that's pretty sucky. Yeah. It can purify just about anything, yeah. Sweet. So you've just been holding out on me the whole time. We can try. Ye well, it is, yeah. Well, I'd imagine so, yeah, but still. It's okay, I'm cool, I've got this. Right, so, onward. And, no, I, don't, I, keep, I keep thinking I need to use that to transport, I don't. Different games. I think most games you have to go to the save point to use quick 
travel and whatnot, but you don't on this. You can only travel to them. Apart from if you're in Mado's Annex, because screw you. That's why. Magic everywhere. Too much magic. Can't use the power of magic. I don't know. I don't understand magic. I don't think anyone does. It's just all wizardry. Yeah. I was trying to kill time while I walk up the stairs. Um, so, right. Sorted. That was quick. Yeah. Took no time flat with the abuse of magic again. Okay. What about the one you're stuck in? Or is that too much for that even? Yeah, he's a bit of a maverick renegade. Um, hmm. Something going on there with Miyushu and Hugo, I guess. But anyway. So, let's get the yeah, Dreaming Idol infuse the energy from that Black Pearl replica. So, push, put them down. Plonk. <laughs> let's give it a go. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm kind of coming. Um, the dreaming idol is fully powered. Unlimited dream power. So, do we just head up there then? That's kind of the idea. But yeah, let's go for it. Okay, it's ruined. I'm on it. I'm on it like something on. Thank you! I love you! Ah! <laughs> ah, dear. Eunuch is great. Well, you could give her a, like, you know. Give her a hand. Well, perhaps. This is a... well... yeah. She seems nice. Very nice. So basically all magic's evil. They're kind of going with this more and more, actually. Which... makes some level of sense, given the in this world, but... still... Um, yes, I don't know. It's really cool to kick... well, actually, I was sending firebolts and bolt blasts and all this sort of stuff about anyway. We're kind of at a point where we don't even need the magic. We just kill things with our mighty swords. Anyway, right. Let's make our way across here. I'm going to charge it up a little bit. I need to get across to there and just... There we go. That'll do. That's for you. Another one of those for you. Just to clear the way across, basically. Right, so it's... Let that go. Let's see what happens. So let's speak to Roy. Oh, do I have to go in inventory? There it is. Let's use this. Come on. Yes! Success! Ah, <laughs> uh, stiff. No. <laughs> Um, it's probably best you don't know. Yes, awesome sauce. So, debrief. Yeah. Not really. Um, yeah, I still feel a little bit numb. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, it's still an improvement. Let's just go forward with it. Well, thank you. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Unica, don't do yourself down, but... Well, it wasn't. You kind of... Well, okay, it was. Yeah, okay, it kind of was. Um, it's convenient that Hugo had the thing, and Dino had the thing, and then he put the things together, and then the thing fixed you. But that's games. Um, so. I'm not a boar, yeah, come on. <laughs> I'm not a wild animal. 
Well, thank you, I guess. Ah. Interesting. Yes. When the moment is right, we will hear the call. That's how we answer that call. Yeah. Crap. I'm pretty much screwed then. Um, my phone's off. Um, yeah. Well, perhaps, you know, she's from a, like a noble family or whatever. Not noble, but... Are they noble? Can they consider noble? The six priests? I'm not sure. But yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, let's do it. So... Ah, oh, you guys. Da. Yeah, it's probably just... Rest up a little bit. Um, a thorough regimen of healing magic over and over again. And yeah, okay. There it is. Why would you, I was looking for that? Right. So. Yeah, you guys just... Can I speak to Roy anymore? I just want to try and see any more crack with any of these before I finish up. Yeah, Roy's normally been a little bit of a... Yeah. Well, he did kind of save my life. Aww. Boys will be boys. <laughs> yeah. That's true, yeah. And that kept me kept it going, so Exactly. Yeah. Thanks, Roy. You would uh 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 yeah, not now. Uh oh, somebody's got a crush on somebody, perhaps. Talk to all of them, so let's talk to Cecilia. That Dallas fellow is far more dangerous. Yeah. Okay, you have less crack. I suppose Roy and Unica do have more to say to each other, but. Well, thank you. And Galleon. Yeah. Okay, so he's leaving it in my capable hands, which is brave, but probably stupid. Um, but we're nearly there. We're running out of like spaces in our inventory which is always a good sign um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it pretty much a day here because that whole getting of like acquiring the Manted Medallion it's taken pretty much an episode to it I mean how much time's that yeah it's about well I think I, in between, apart from like a break between the records that's about 20 minutes so if you are probably come up about 14 maybe somewhere around there Anyway, so, tomorrow, M Manted Chamber, be there and watch me probably die a bit and work out how to do it. I'm going with realistic rather than optimistic here. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. We saved the day a bit quicker than I thought. I mean, actually, it was a good thing um, that they didn't say petrified too long or else they might have not been de-petrified, I guess. She just had a couple of softs and just throwing them at it, but throwing them at them would have worked a treat. But different games, different ways of handling things. Anywho, right, I'm going to wrap it up there. So in the next episode, it's Manted time. And until then, take care of yourself and have a good day. Bye. <laughs>